Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about cough suppressants or cough syrup. Were you aware that the average cough syrup over the counter has up to 20% alcohol content in it? Were you aware of that? Bendelin, Rob Robitussin, I have a hard time pronouncing that rob word, Robitussin. These two products contain 10% volume of alcohol, what translates in to 20 proof. Believe it or not, they're loaded. And there's other cough medicines out there that have greater amount of alcohol in them, believe it or not. Just to compare it, this bottle here is a bottle of wine. It's 1.5 liters. The alcohol per volume in this bottle of wine is 12%. This bottle of cough medicine is 20%. This bottle of cough medicine is 20%. It's loaded with alcohol. Alcohol itself does not suppress cough. It doesn't do anything to fix your sinuses or make you feel better when it comes to your cold. What alcohol does for you when you are not feeling well is very similar to a hot toddy. What it does, look up hot toddy on a Google, on the Google search. What alcohol does is makes you feel calmer because it's a suppressant and it makes you feel sleepy. That's all alcohol does when it comes to cough medicines. It has nothing to do with cough suppression. So just keep that in mind. If you think these products are working better, it's simply because of the alcohol content in them. If you want cough suppression, a pseudomethaphen, feel better from your cold, something like Buckley's, alcohol-free, will do the exact same thing that these products do, but they will not make you feel sleepy or tired because there's no alcohol in them. So if you're like me and you wanna be aware of products that have alcohol in them because you're a recovering alcoholic or for your children, these products read the label make sure there's no alcohol in them. It's in the fine print at the back. It's in the ingredients. They don't have to put it on the label. They don't have to mark it on the, the bottles themselves that this contains 20% alcohol. I don't know why. It's buyer beware. Read it, read the label. And let me tell you, you do not need the alcohol in a cough suppressant or a cough syrup to get over your cold or get a better night's sleep. Many alternatives out there in your local pharmacy. See. Just check it out and like I said before, read the label. If you ask somebody, they'll probably direct you to these products, the one with alcohol in them because they're very popular. They're very popular. These brand names do make an alcohol-free one, uh, cough medicine, but I don't know, every time I go to the pharmacist, they always direct me to the ones with alcohol in it. Like, I don't know if they get a kickback or what, but anyways, be aware, self-awareness, and look after your health when it comes to your recovery. You may, not, you may not relapse off these products, but it sure is not gonna help your recovery on a daily basis. It's really not. And if you have children, you don't wanna be jacking them on alcohol. You don't wanna be doing that, okay? Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you have a comment, please leave it below. I'd really appreciate it. If you don't like my video, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Thank you very much for stopping by. Stay sober, stay safe. God bless, I'm out of here. Peace out, see you next week. And again, thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now, bye-bye.